If identity theft would have not happened, the Nazi Holocaust would have not had a leg to stand on. Hitler murdered people one third or one quarter Jewish. If all Christians would have known that their savior was a Jew that died for them, they would not have cooperated with Hitler. In Germany, both Catholic and Protestant clergy gave the right hand of fellowship to Hitler when he came to power. Card carrying members of both Lutheran and Catholic churches were among the Nazi and even SS officers. Churches in Poland and Germany holding services near concentration and death camps just sang a little louder to drown the cries of the Jews being transported in cattle cars to their death along railroad lines. Churches in towns near death camps like Oswiecim and Birkenau reportedly could even smell the burning flesh of Jews emanating from the chimneys. Still, they either cooperated with the Nazis or did nothing to stop the mass murder. And yet, it was the Jewish Messiah himself whom they were burning in the name of Jesus Christ. This is from my book, The Identity Theft. I am Archbishop Dr. Dominique Bierman. I am a Jew and I am a minister. And I've been ministering for over 30 years to expose the roots of anti-Semitism in the church worldwide and have traveled to at least 50 nations to do that. Written many books on the subject. This is my latest one on which we have based our newest platform called GRI, Global Reeducation Initiative Against Anti-Semitism uncovering and exposing the biggest identity theft in history. The wickedest identity theft in history is when a Jewish Messiah, a Jewish Savior, was turned into a Roman Christ that hated Jews and in His name, in the name of Jesus Christ, millions of Jews have been murdered and millions of Christians have lost their relationship with God because God said in His Word in Genesis 12, 3 that He will bless those who bless the natural children of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob and that He will curse those that curse or mistreat or take lightly and certainly if they deal harshly with them he will curse those that curse the Jewish people. And so we have established a platform based on more than 30 years of experience and ministry exposing these deathly theologies of identity theft that altogether are called replacement theology, but it is a five-headed monster that is anti-Messiah, that is anti-Israel, anti-Torah, anti-Jewish and anti-Zionistic. I call it the anti messito Jews. GRI is going to teach about it. It's going to teach about the history that's been hidden, that has not been taught in almost any Bible school or theological seminar in the world. I've experienced that every time that I systematically expose the deathly anti-Semitic theologies within Christianity. People have a tremendous spiritual experience with God as they come to repentance. And I'm expecting that everyone that will take the GRI course, they will experience also a spiritual awakening and they will be able to begin to cooperate with the God of Israel to restore Israel, not to hate Israel or the Jewish people in the nations. Together with me in GRI, we have a team of faithful, dedicated people of all ages, of all walks of life, 
but they have one thing in common. Every one of them was raised a Christian. And every one of them went through the journey of repentance for these deathly anti-Semitic theologies and the identity theft of the Messiah, restoring a Jewish Messiah into their lives that provoked a tremendous love for the Jewish people and for Israel with support and boots on the ground. This dedicated team has helped me to create a premier course called GRI, Global Reeducation Initiative, with 12 gates of learning, with videos, with quizzes, and the way to unlock it is simply when you buy my book, Identity Theft, you unlock a course that is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. But we are not going to charge you. We are only going to invite you to come in and to take the journey of your life.